right, you guys, so to jump in before the video, this is a video of me optimistically installing Oxbeam headlights. They're great bulbs, the bulbs are not at fault here, it's actually a car, but I'll go ahead and show you this clip. Welcome back everybody, hopefully you guys are all doing amazing out there. My name is Austin and welcome to the Power Stoked YouTube channel. Today we have something that's going to be very important for this car for safety because there's a huge gripe that I have with the RS Camaro. If you guys were lucky enough to get yourselves an RS Camaro, from 2010 to 2013, you got these cool halo headlights and like smoke tail lights with red badges. You got a couple cool things. But with these eagle eye headlights, you got something absolutely horrible. This, an HID headlight, the most useless hunk of garbage ever. I know there's gonna be a ton of you out there defending HIDs with your life. Oh, they're going bad, that's why they're dim. No, no, I've replaced these with brand new 3000K or 5000K, they were white HIDs. This one burned out in a week, and I didn't touch the bulb. I used gloves, I used gloves, and it burned out. And when I'm driving at night, my God, am I taking my life into my own hands because I cannot see shit. So that's where this piece of garbage can go away. I think I broke it. See, useless. Now, I've worked with this company before with my Power Stroke, and I absolutely love their bulbs. I've done a couple videos with them. My brother-in-law has them. I have a couple buddies that have their lights now. These are Oxbeam. They come in clutch for your Camaro if you have the HID headlights because you can only buy HIDs because the ballast and everything. Well, the guys at Oxbeam have got it figured out. So as you guys can see, the people over at Oxbeam have made an LED headlight that fits in place of the HID. It has the same thick base. It's got the same connector on it because I know that's one of the big issues is getting this actually to fit in there. You can see the notches on them. This has a nice big cooling fan on the bottom, so these will stay nice and cool. And it's in an aluminum case, so you're not gonna have to worry about rust or anything like that. This is a simple plug and play. You don't have to remove the ballast, you don't have to do anything like that. All you gotta do is pull out your hunk of garbage bulb and replace it with this. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and get this bulb installed. Okay, so now that we have the new bulbs installed, we're gonna go ahead, turn off all the lights in the garage and kick these on so you guys can see how bright they are. Then we're gonna wait for it to get dark and we're gonna go for a quick drive. But before that, I wanna show you how awful the HIDs are. As you guys can see with the HIDs, you can't see anything on the road. You can see the faint light on the road of what those headlights are actually projecting, but it is so difficult to drive at night with these headlights. Now, the passenger side one burnt out quickly, but I just replaced them and this is with two headlights. So I had my wife record this video a while ago when we were driving back uh, home one night and it was just absolutely awful and it's not even fully dark out. This is at dusk and it's this bad. All right, you guys, so that is what I filmed on that day. I had to end it there because I realized I have a headlight that doesn't work, which sucks because I just rebuilt this one, rebuilt. I basically bought a new ballast and wires and redid the inside. The housing is cracked, the lens has a hole in it. It's a, it's a goner basically. So this headlight is gonna become my donor headlight. I'm gonna take the good ballast put it in this one. So that way I have one working headlight on the passenger side. I have LED fogs that are on all the time, but I wanna say thank you to Oxbeam for sending over those headlights. I'm very excited to show you guys how well they do at night because I guarantee you even with one working LED headlight, it's gonna be way brighter than the crappy HIDs were in this car. So we're gonna go ahead, pull this whole front fascia off because we've gotta to get to these headlights, which means this whole front bumper has to come off. Super easy, I've done it about 20 times now with this car, so let's go ahead and get started on doing that. Okay, now that we have the fascia off, you can see this headlight is cracked all the way across. I mean, it's kind of held back together. We're gonna have to pull both headlights so that way I can get to the actual ballast on the bottom, the good one to the good headlight, and then we can start the fun stuff on demoing this headlight. This is kind of a cool look. Look how meaty that front tire is. Woo! Okay, you guys, now that I have both headlights off, this one, this connector is absolutely filthy. Along with the backside of this headlight here, as you can see, it's just caked. But it's because this car has no fender liners. I got it with this one missing, and then that one I had to pull off because it was dragging on the tire. So I went ahead and just pulled them out. I'll be getting new ones eventually, but this headlight is disgusting. So on the bottom side of your headlight here, 
This is the HID ballast. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this bad one here. And we're gonna take this bad one just to plug the hole. We're gonna put it on the bottom of this one. Take this good one and put it on that one. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, you guys, so now that I have the ballast switched over into the new headlight, well, not new, existing headlight, I have the new ballast put in here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up and we're gonna see and make sure that this headlight works and then we'll continue on with our project here. I just wanna make sure that everything's hooked up properly before I go ahead and mount this headlight back on and start cutting up the other one. Okay, so the halo works, but we don't have any bulb power. So we're gonna go ahead Pull that bulb back out. Maybe I just didn't hook something up right. We're gonna go ahead and leave the lights on just so I can kind of see what's going on here and then we'll continue on. All right, you guys, so we got this one headlight on right here. We got the new LED inside. Halos work. It's just dirty. I need to buff them. Now on this side, we have the headlight hooked up and as you can see, there's a glow, which is the halos. Here is my bulb that I should be using right here. Watch what happens when I tilt the ballast. It does kick on. So. This wire here on my ballast, I need to figure out, or that connection rather, I need to figure out that connection. Holy bright, guys. <laughs> it is daylight in here. So I need to figure out that connection really quick. I think it's just loose. We're gonna spray some WD-40 in there, clean it out, and get it all put back together because these headlights are so much brighter than those terrible HIDs. Let's go ahead and clean this headlight knowing that it works. We now officially have two working headlights. The problem I had with that one, thinking the ballast was dead and I was now down to two dead ballasts. It's the fuses. Underneath the hood of this car, there are two fuses here, 45 and 46. Each HID has its own fuse, both 20 amp fuses. I pulled the 20, for some reason, there's a 30 amp and a 25 amp in there. I went ahead and pulled it and put it back and it came back on. So I think they just got jiggled loose or something uh, weird like that, something bizarre. We're gonna get the right fuses for that. I just didn't have them. I wouldn't look through everything. But for now, we got our headlights on and working. We're gonna go ahead and get this headlight put back on the car so you guys can see. It's kind of getting a little bit dark out. And we're gonna go ahead and go out for a drive so you guys can see the major difference these headlights make compared to the factory HID. So as you can see, it is very corroded in there. I'm gonna see if I can clean that up a little bit. But here is the plug that I'm having issues with. As you can see, it is quite corroded. So I'm gonna spray some WD-40 in there and see if I can get this cleaned up a little bit. It obviously is making connection somewhere in there. Just had some more corrosion fall out of it. Um, enough to make this light work if you hold it at the right angle. So we're gonna get that cleaned up, get that put back together. And this is the headlight that I got that was broken. It's got the hole drilled in it. As you can see, this plastic weld that I used is peeling up. It is holding this piece back on. This and this were completely separated. I didn't ever film that for you guys, but these two pieces are separated. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of cut this off to clean that up. And then I've got some silicone that I'm gonna go ahead and patch all these little holes. See that crack running across there? We're gonna run a bead of silicone in there all the way around. We got another opening here just to keep the moisture out because that's obviously where it's coming in. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty clean in there. The bottom of this headlight is filthy. I mean, that's on the inside. So I'll do what I can. It's a terrible looking headlight. Sadly, these things are so expensive, but it looks okay during the daytime. So for now, we're gonna get it sealed so it stays nice and dry in there. And maybe one day we'll get a new headlight for this front end. All right, you guys, we have the car back together. Headlights are back in, as you guys can see. This one here is the silicone special, as you guys can see. Um, I, I know it doesn't look the best, but for now, it's gonna work perfect. The last video, I did a cinematic and there was moisture in the headlight and it bothered me really bad. Went ahead and cleaned up the inside of the headlight. Um, got it all silicone so no water should be getting in there anymore. And we got both on. I'll show you guys what the LED headlights look like. And then we're gonna wait for it to get dark and we're gonna go take it for a drive. Already in this garage, these headlights are so much brighter than the HIDs. I honestly am blown away by the difference. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wait for dark and I'll show you guys these headlights. All right, you guys, I'm in the office editing this video and I realized I didn't do an outro. So I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. There will be a link down in the description below for you guys to grab these headlights. They are incredible. I've had them on the car for about a week now and driving at night is a totally different beast, especially with how limited visibility these cars have. The new bulbs are absolutely incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.